Um, okay, let me first start with a proper introduction to my following um, and those who are new to the channel. Hello, um, my name is Gerard Henry and behind me, I have extremely important new purchases that I'm going to share with you all. All right, so in here, I'll actually show this one later. I'm gonna open this one up tomorrow. I'm a bit upset with you all. No one told me that, okay, let me first open this package. If you're using one of these pitchers to filter your water, please keep in mind, they just don't work very well. They barely get rid of heavy metals. They barely get rid of forever chemicals. And you read more and more studies about how much that stuff is actually in our drinking water. It's scary. In fact, EWG has a tap water section of their website and you can type in your zip code. It'll tell you exactly how many contaminants are in your water. For example, my zip code has 25. So how do you avoid them? This is probably the gold standard for drinking water. It's an under-counter six-stage water system. It's reverse osmosis with alkalizing minerals. In fact, I even have a whole house system outside of the home, but that's not even good enough for drinking. That's just to purify the water so you're showering in clean water. This is the best for drinking. And if you don't have space for something like that, the best countertop system I know that actually works is made by AquaTrue. But the bottom line is our water is borderline not safe to drink anymore and stuff like this just doesn't work. And I don't know if it's only for Prime members, but if you purchase this item on Amazon, you can choose to have it delivered in the Amazon package. That way it's not delivered in the obvious AquaTrue package. Okay, so this is my new water filter. The reason that I purchased this one is because apparently Brita sucks. Uh, in so many words. I bit the bullet. I was going back and forth on whether or not I should purchase this item. It just made sense. When I was making my decision on which water filter to purchase, it was between the Aqua True or I believe the company is called Sands. And Aqua True just, it looked better all in all, it came down to looks and what I wanted on the actual counter. I'm gonna move you guys down on the floor. All right, my very first initial thoughts are that this thing is very tiny. But also, it's not gonna look too bad on the countertop. Uh, I think I'm gonna move it on this side of the counter. Yeah. This will be perfect right here. Like it's, it's pretty small. Okay, sorry, my phone died, I'm back. So I already went ahead and I washed both containers with soap and water. So now I'm going to install the filters. Do so by just lifting the bottom. Oh. Make sure you remove <laughs> make sure you remove the blue tape. I wonder how many people have done this and actually broke the machine before 
getting the chance to use it. All right, there we go. Interesting. So it's recommended if your device is unused for at least two months. Um, well, it says for more than two months, then it's recommended to replace all filters. So keep that in mind. Okay, good stuff. So for now, I've set up the water filter and uh, that was a lot of work. So I'm going to go out and grab drinks, grab something to eat, and then I'll get back to this later. Um, let's go. So I made it back from uh, Lily Pearl. I just had a drink and all right. So the adapter is here. I believe this is the adapter. Yeah. All right. So I plugged up the device. Um, Next, I'm just going to fill up the tap. Next, I'm going to fill up the tap water container with tap water, and we're going to start filtering. So, essentially, you have to purify and discard four tanks of water before your first use. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I don't see anything that says maximum fill, so I think this is good enough. All right, we put the lid on and let's see, let's turn this on. All right, so there's an on and off switch back here, so I'm just gonna turn that on. All right. So I didn't have to touch anything. I'm assuming when you turn it on, it automatically starts the filtering process. The filtering process, it's starting to get really cloudy. So I'm assuming it's doing its thing and I'm just gonna sit it there and wait for it to fill up. You guys, I hear something. Here we go, fresh purified water. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I forgot I had coffee. This is my Brita filter that I've had for maybe about a year. When I purchased this filter, I really thought I was doing something. Um, I was recommending it to family and uh, luckily no one purchased it because no one really listens to my recommendations. Uh, anyways, and I really thought I was drinking clear, purified water for the most part. Um, here's the thing. You want something like a reverse osmosis water filter. Let's say you go on someone's website and you look up, uh, oh, I found out that TDMs or TDS measurements aren't really a good measurement to go off of to determine if your water is safe enough to drink um, because there's other other things in your water that that device cannot measure you can go into a deep rabbit hole when it comes to researching <sighs> researching water that's safe to drink there's just a lot of contaminants there's a lot of metals, uh, different bacteria, fluoride. There's a lot of things that we drink on a daily basis that is not the best for our bodies. 
And so ultimately, I went with the decision of purchasing this expensive machine just because you really can't trust what you find on various government websites regarding the safety of drinking water. I live in this city and all in all, the government and all these other entities, they're gonna tell you what they want you to know at the end of the day. So I'm taking measures into my own hands and I just want safe drinking water and I drink a lot of water. Still waiting for this thing to fill up. I'm not sure if it's because it's my first time running water through the filters or whatnot, but it is taking a little while. Definitely taking a lot longer than it takes for this Brita, which like I said, the Brita is not filtering everything that this re reverse osmosis machine is going to filter. What I'm considering is giving this guy a good wash and uh, filling it up with the water that I filter and just keeping it in here. That way I have more storage for safe drinking water. Oh, just stopped. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so. I'm assuming this means that it's done filtering. So what you wanna do, we have to dump this out. We're gonna dump this out now. So if you're new to this reverse osmosis water filter machine, when this is done filtering, you always, it's recommended that you always get rid of the leftover water. Um, so this is all of the harmful water that you do not want to filter back into your machine. It's gonna stress out the filters and ultimately it's gonna void your warranty. So you always wanna dump this out before refilling it back up with fresh tap water. That took a few minutes. Um, I wasn't keeping track, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, so we're gonna fill this up again. I wanna get some light. Let's get some more light into this room. Oh no. Oh, wow. Okay. So what I'm noticing is that the very first time, I'm assuming the very first time you run water through your filters, that's when you're going to notice that cloudiness in your tap water. But what I did when I filled it up the second time, it automatically started purifying the water. And uh, you can already see the, the purified water is already starting to accumulate. So, um, yeah, anyways. Okay, uh, it's the next day. I've, I can't believe I've gone this long without this reverse osmosis water filter. Uh, oh, something I didn't show you guys. The very first time you're, um, you're using this machine, it's gonna get cloudy. It's most likely going to get cloudy in the tap water reservoir uh, for at least the first use. And then you have to repeat that cycle three more times um, before you can actually start to use it and drink out of it. So I would take the water and instead of discarding the water from the top, I would just discard most of the water from the blue button and just get water running through the actual machine before I actually used it. So 
So, I grew accustomed to the Brita filter. You can absolutely taste a difference between the between the Brita filter and the reverse osmosis. And what's funny, when I first moved into, when I first moved out on my own, I was uh, picking up the container of water probably maybe every week, every few days. Um, but that got tiring. It was labeled RO and I never knew what it meant. And the people at the store couldn't really explain it. Um, but essentially it's reverse osmosis water. That's what I was drinking uh, years ago. Um, and then as I mentioned, I got tired and just started buying bottled water, which is another problem in itself. Uh, but without going into that rabbit hole, uh, because I'm drinking the reverse osmosis water and I purchased it without the mineral boost only because I wanted to control that aspect of my water. And on top of that, I've already purchased this uh, months ago and this was maybe about $30, $40. It was about $30. So um, I already have my own trace mineral vitamins here. Um, and so I pour that into the Brita filter. So what I ended up doing, I just, I removed the Brita filter and I just added my drops. That's really good. Um, so I'm not gonna add the drops to the actual purified water on the machine. I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then what I did in my containers, I'll just add the mineral drops in here, keep that in the refrigerator and operate this and do it that way. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's my little machine. I'm extremely proud and happy to have this in my life. You have no idea. Uh, so on to my next package.